What's going on, people? It's the Xbox 448, and today, guys, I gotta go in on a topic that's been kind of bugging me, and people have been going on and on in social media about this, and I gotta get it off my chest. And of course, it's the Xbox has no games, quote unquote, to a bunch of people on social media. This is what people are hitting everybody with. When people are excited about the Xbox One X, the main thing that they're coming back on is, well, the Xbox One X has no games. There's no games for it. Why would you spend $500 on a system that has no games? And guys, as you saw from the very beginning of this video, the Xbox One X is not a new generation system. It is what they are calling a mid-gen refresh. So with that being the case, and as we're seeing from announcements like the Tomb Raider, the Rise of the Tomb Raider announcements for the enhancements there, uh, the Gears of War uh, um, announcements for the enhancements there, uh, Halo 5 is getting, uh, getting enhancements for the Xbox One X. There are games for the system. Like, I don't understand what's going on here. When it comes to the holidays, I'll be one of the first people to admit, yeah, the holiday lineup for the Xbox One is not great this year. It is very light. But that being said, PlayStation has been light for like the last four years in terms of exclusives coming out around the holidays. But these same people damage control that and say well they don't release their exclusives on the holiday man they release it towards the beginning of the year in the spring so this way they don't have to compete with multi-plats and I, I with that whole thing when, when it comes to releasing games you know beginning of the year into the spring because you know they don't want to compete with call of duties and stuff like that there is a place for exclusives exclusives will sell no matter what people are definitely accustomed to getting the next call of duty or you know that star wars battlefront when it comes out but to not release your exclusives around the holidays because you're scared of a multi-plat shows no trust in first of all your fan base second of all that franchise that is exclusive to your platform so i believe that right there is total bullshit anyway right but when it comes to games coming out this holiday for the Xbox One X, let us think. Um, there is a game that is out on PC right now. Just went over 8 million copies sold on PC. Um, it has something to do with a bar. Oh yeah, that's right. PUBG. Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Now that is a huge title right now. Very hot. Like out there in the gaming industry, people are talking about this title. And guess what, guys? If you like it or not, the only place in terms of consoles that you're going to be able to play that is on an Xbox. Now, granted, it's going game preview first. And uh, I do believe one of the main reasons why it's coming to Xbox is because of the game preview. Sony, for some rhyme or reason, doesn't want to have a game preview program. That's not our fault. That's not Phil Spencer's fault. That's not Mikey Barr's fault. That's nobody's fault over here. The only people who you can kind of put that blame on the shoulders of is the people who are running the PlayStation division over at Sony. Plain and simple. Those are the only people that you can say, well, hey, guys, why don't we have a preview program? If we had a preview program, that game might be coming to our uh, console as well. But it's not, guys. So you have PUBG, which is very hot right now, and people are going to buy the console for it, whether to buy the Xbox One S or the X, people are gonna buy the console to play PUBG as well. Because there's this crazy thing out there that, you know, people are stating, well, the best combination out there would be uh, PC and PlayStation right now because of, you know, Xbox's Play Anywhere situation. But the fact of the matter is, if you want games that uh, run to the performance level that you would get from an Xbox One X in terms of these titles, you're going to have to put in some dough on your PC. If you don't have one already, then it's definitely, that is not the combo for you. If you want great price point, ease of access, and performance, and you're looking for a combo, it would definitely be Xbox One and PlayStation. But all in all, it's been absolutely crazy how people point out no games when you're seeing all these enhancements to, you know, Rise of Tomb Raider, Gears 4, um, Halo 5, and, and many more. Over 100 titles are, are going to have enhancements. Uh, Shadow of War is going to be Xbox One X enhanced, um, you know, this holiday. 
like there there is a bunch of titles yes it is not the the mainstay of what xbox usually gives out for the holidays it is a very thin holiday offering i will be the first to say that but in 2018 coming we have state of decay 2 uh, we have Sea of Thieves, we have Crackdown 3, we have Forza Horizon 4, possibly Ori 2, um, Ash, there is a bunch of titles coming in 2018 as well. So guys, you really need to kind of calm down with that whole no games aspect. I know I have been happy the first four years with my Xbox One, and the future definitely looks bright on this platform. I don't know. Guys, yo, hit up the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. Do you see what I'm saying where this whole hashtag no games aspect, why would I buy an Xbox One X, is complete horseshit. Let's be honest, guys. Complete horseshit, at least in my opinion. But anyway, like I said, yo, definitely hit up that comment section. I want to know what you guys think. I feel this is a, a state of uh, people have made their bed and now they're trying to not lie in it because for the first three years, of this generation people have touted power 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 i'm getting a ps4 because it's more powerful you know 1080p compared to 900p and you guys know i was never like that i had a lot of fun with my titles on my xbox one whether they were 900p compared to 1080 720 compared to 900 um it didn't matter to me and i'm excited for the xbox one x because of the advancement in lighting, shadows, textures, uh, you know, load times, um, better performance, more stable frame rates, stuff like that. That is what I am most excited for with my Xbox One X. And I am not one of those quote unquote resolution babies out there that we're going, we're going crazy of uh, the first three years of, of basically this generation, guys. And now since the power kind of like, uh, the power throne, if you want to call it, has been switched to the other side. Now it's a, it's not about that anymore, and they're trying to put out there that there are absolutely no games for the Xbox One. And guys, we all know, complete bullshit. But like I said, yo, hit up the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. As usual, if you like the topics and you like the gameplay, yo, definitely slap that thumbs up button for me as it helps my channel a lot when you do that and um if you haven't subscribed yet definitely subscribe but as for now this is the xbox 448 and i am definitely signing off